Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to take a look inside BoxyCharm and see what I got. If you want to see what's in my box, stick around. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Alright, so we are just gonna jump into this box. I have to warn you that I've already taken a look at my box and... I knew this month I was not going to be as excited about what was in my box, but I just filled it down by this box. We're just going to put it out there. It is what it is. So, yeah. Um, I have variation number 17. says it down here in the corner. So, we are going to get into it. My dose of color is the Blushing Berries. Looks like this. We're going to open it up, see what it looks like. Um, I usually look really good in berry colors with my blue eyes because I feel like it makes them look more baby blue and it stands makes them stand out better. But I just wanted a different palette. Um, these It has a brush, which I've been hearing on other videos that the brush is really good. These are the colors that are in my palette. They are all matte and... One good thing for the palette is I've heard that they blend out really nicely. So this palette is going for $32. Then I got the Iconic London, the Prep, Set, and Glow. And this is the, I believe this is, people were saying, um, it was not, it wasn't the bronze one. It was the original is, maybe that was what it was, but look at how pretty that is all swirling around in there Some people said it set their makeup really well. Some people said it didn't so I am excited to see that um, The iconic London prep set glow goes for $29 Then I got Iconic London lip plumping gloss. This goes for $26 this is a really pretty color for fall, so I am excited to try that out. I also got the Mellow Tinted Brow Gel. Looks like this. Also, some people were saying it sucks. Some people said it was good, so I want to see how it is. Um, that is going for $16. As you guys know, I don't have a lot of brow hair, so some people were saying that it really didn't add extra volume. It kind of just darkened it. Um, so I can't wait to see about this. Does it say what color it is? Dark brown. So it might be too dark for me. The one thing that I am really annoyed by is this Hollywood and Vine Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Eyeliner. It has an MSRP of $7. I feel like I could get this at the drugstore for 3 bucks. Looks like this. Some people were saying that it was really nice. So, I'm going to try it out. It is really nice dark color. On my hand it goes on nicely. Looks like that. I'm just annoyed because I want to get things in BoxyCharm that I couldn't get at the drugstore. Sorry, I'm going to scoot up some. I feel like I'm sitting far away. And I feel like I could get that for 3 bucks at the drugstore. So, I mean, there have been BoxyCharm boxes that are way better than this box and I know that every single month I'm not gonna be excited or I'm not gonna be in love with the whole box but this box was just one of those boxes that I felt like months on end it has been fabulous I've been loving it and then this month was just a hmm so Anyhow, that is my box. I have, right now, I put on foundation. I put on some powder. I have on the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Foundation. I mixed 3.0, and I put, like, two drops of 3.0. We 
maybe three. And then one of 5.0. Um, I think I would look better in the summertime because I don't have any color right now. I've already turned pasty white because it is the middle of October. And I look like I got a tan, but that's all right. So we are just going to wing it. We are going to go in with these products and see how they do. So I am going to go in with the palette, the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in with this first color here. This is called Berry Chic. I'm just going to put that down. on the eyelids that color is pretty I will give that color the benefit of the doubt and say that it is pretty. Next, I am going to take a blending brush and I am going to go in with Roseberry, in this color here. I'm just gonna work that into the crease. Okay, so maybe I was just being over dramatic and maybe I'm gonna like this palette because that color is pretty. What do you think? Sometimes I'm dramatic. <laughs> no, not me. Can you believe it? And I'm like, oh, I know I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate that, whatever. And then I end up liking it, and then I gotta eat my words. Whatever. <laughs> so then I am going to go in with this color over here. This one is called Mixed Berries. I am gonna put it right here in the crease and try to darken that up just a little bit, just right here. I don't want to go in and get everything too dark. I'm trying to take that over just to the middle. These colors are pretty blendable. Easy to blend. I like that they're matte. I don't always like a shimmer. I think I'm getting a little too old for shimmers all the time. That's cute, all right, okay. Maybe I take it back, maybe, maybe. I don't like to take it back. Then I am going to go in with Berry Black, just a tiny amount right here. I don't wanna mess that up. I literally just put it in twice. And I'm just going to put that into my crease to darken it. Just a little bit. All right, y'all. Oh, see, I got too heavy handed. We're going to go back in with the purple. Try to reclaim myself. Hopefully you guys can't hear Dave mowing. He's getting the leaves up. Blend it out a little bit more with that purple. No, I kind of really like this. Okay, so then I am going to take the brush that came with it, 
It has a fluffy like crease brush and then it has a more pointed like pencil brush. I am going to take that dark mixed berries and drag that down here. Connect that all together. Drag it over. My goodness. I'm going to eat so much crow for saying I hated this palette. And now, now I like it. So off camera, I just went in with the liner in my waterline. Um, I put on some mascara. It is the Tarte, let's see, Big Ego that we got in another box. And then I went in with my Huda highlighter palette just in my inner corners because you know you got to have that pop in. But I am super excited with how my eyes turned out. I will admit, for the fifth thousand time, I like the palette. And I didn't think I would. So now we are going to go in with the Mellow Tinted Brow Gel. I did do my brows just a little. So I don't know if this will really show up. Oh, okay. All right. It's really not, I mean, it's darker than I'd usually use. You can tell the difference, this one, um, than I'd usually use, but it's not really that bad. You do have to go back in and get more on the spoolie. Not bad at all. Do I think it gives more volume no however i do think the color is really nice so yeah that is all right i will give that two thumbs up next i'm going to try the iconic london color this color does it even say what it is i'm blind without my glasses y'all it just says plumping gloss it doesn't have a color so, oh, oh, but it is this color. My lips are so chapped because I'm still getting over being sick. Ugh, drives me nuts. This is kind of sticky, y'all. Mine smells like black liquor. Oh, it's tingling. Uh-huh. I just noticed it. I was like, ooh, smell feels like mint or peppermint or something. My word. I don't feel bad. It just Feels like when you have um, toothpaste on your lips. I think it's gorgeous. Gotta get perfect, you know me. There we go. There we go, girl. Uh-huh. Get it going. Girl, I feel like Dave should be taking me out to dinner or something. All right. So I am going to hurry up and take my Anastasia contour. Put in a little bit of contour before I set my face. Let's see, we'll go with the light one. Just got a little something, something, you know.
I'm really, I really like this eyeshadow. I feel like such a jerk for saying I did it. All right. I'm still lit down by the box, but I like the eyeshadow. Y'all gonna just have to hold me to it. All right, the last thing in the box is, of course, the setting. You guys know I hate spraying my face. Oh, it drives me crazy. We're gonna do it though. Is that the, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, it smells nice. Whoo, that's a nice mess too. I do look like I'm glowing. Ooh. Got a little bit on my hand. So, yeah. About this box, y'all. Let me just tell you. I said I didn't like it. Maybe I was wrong. It has happened before. All right. I think I look good. Really do like that eyeshadow. Really do like that lip gloss. So it is a nice combination to put together a look. All right. I'll eat that crow. Oh, as I rip my hair out with my my wedding ring. Good Lord. All right, y'all. So that is my boxy charm for today. Yes, I was lit down by the box in the beginning. But after playing with it, it has come back to my good graces. <laughs> so I am very excited with all of the things in here and I will put them all to good use. So I just wanted to let you know that I believe it was yesterday that it came out that you can start signing up for BoxyCharm Premium to get on the wait list. And what they are gonna do on November 1st is everyone who's on the wait list, they are going to start trying to charge their form of payment. Um, I did sign up for BoxyCharm Premium. You guys know I have been thinking about adding another box to my mailing list each month. I had no idea what I wanted to do. I tried Birchbox, a fail. Um, I tried Allure, fail, um, Sephora Play, I, I just didn't feel like I wanted that, um, Ipsy, that bag, I knew I didn't want that, um, and then I had been looking at the Ipsy Glam Box, I think it is, um, is that the, that's the middle one, I think the middle one is okay, people have been saying they're okay with that one, but their bigger box that would be like equivalent to BoxyCharm Lux, they were saying that box really sucked. So I felt like going with BoxyCharm Premium would be the best bet for me right now. Um, I have been seeing the different sneak peeks that are coming out for November. Sorry, my nose is running. I'm still sick. Um, am I impressed by it? Uh... Like, I'm not sure. I am excited to try the Natasha Denona because she is such an expensive brand, but high quality. So I am excited to try that if that comes in my box. Um, I just want to give it a fair chance because like this box, I didn't give it a fair chance and I ended up loving it. So I may get the premium box at least for two months to see how it is. And then if I don't like it, I can always cancel. But as of right now, I am praying that I come off the wait list and November 1st, I get charged for the premium box because I'm super excited and I'm super excited for the $25 BoxyCharm because as of right now, BoxyCharm is $21. It is going to go up to $25, but that means that the boxes are going to be able to be bigger and they are going to be able to have a higher value each month. So I am super excited about that. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys got BoxyCharm this month. I want to know what palette you guys got and I want to know if you love it or not. Um, 
And then I want to know if you guys are planning on getting BoxyCharm Premium, what your thoughts are on it, what your thoughts are on um, BoxyCharm's normal box going up to $25. If you're upset about it, if you're happy, you know that companies grow and this is just part of the growing pains. So let me know all your thoughts down below and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, you guys, stay kind to each other.